Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you this evening. I hope you are well. Um, let me give a shout out to my Divine Squad first and foremost. That's my little subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. You, newbie, and new person on the channel, welcome. Come on in. Sit down, relax, grab something to drink, grab your chips, whatever you're going to do. Because we're going to get into some cusp readings right now. That's right, that's you. So... We are going to end with the beginning of December's readings with Pisces Aries. So that's you. Welcome. Come on in. Pisces Aries. So if your birthday was March 17th through the 23rd, you are a cusp. The cusp of rebirth. That's it. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way, let me give you a little description of what I do. So I'm going to take these cards and I'm going to tell you a story. And that story will be your message. But before that, I will get your energy with two cards. Lay them here. Tell you what's going on right now. Not in the past, not in the future, but right now. Then after the story, I will lay two more cards down to tell you your verdict, your outcome, and send you on your way. That's right. So hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the divine family. I would appreciate that so much. I love it. And so let's get into your reading. Oh my goodness. I think I need a bigger table, folks. This is the third video in a row <laughs> that I dropped this new slippery deck, which is, um, I just got it yesterday. Huh. Yeah, where is it? It's over here. That's the one. It's so tiny. <laughs> Anyways, let's do that again. Let me give this a quick shuffle, and then I'll put these cards out for you. Just to let you know I'm real and all this shit happens isn't just voodoo magic because I don't believe in that shit. It's all God, right? It's all God. It's for God, for you guys. Okay, so a couple more shuffles and then we'll get going. Sorry about that, folks. That's better. Getting them all warmed up, broken. Here's your first two cards. See? Boom, boom. All right. Bottom's the top, top is the bottom. There's your first card, the magician. Mm-hmm. Looks like someone's trying to manifest something of the Knight of Cups. Hmm. Okay. So you're trying to manifest some kind of um, action? Like you're trying to present a love offer to somebody? Sure looks like that to me. Yep. This is what you're doing. You're taking action towards trying to offer somebody your cup of love. Right, so that's your emotions, that's your energy, that's you now manifesting this in the present moment, okay? And so the reason why I do this is for the duality of us, because we have masculine and feminine and light and dark and good and bad, and you know what I'm saying? So I figured this was a better way to harness your all's energy to give your message, plain and simple, okay? So here's your first card. Nine of Cups, <whistles> told you. Someone's in love. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at her. She's in love. All like shy. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep this going. Oh, you like my flowers? Those are my self-care flowers, right? I got myself some flowers. What's wrong with that shit? Nothing. I think they're beautiful, little sunflowers, right? Ah. Here's your second card. Hit the like button for my sunflowers. <laughs> uh, whoa, Ace of Pentacles. Woo! So this is not only... An offer that you are presenting because you are one loving person, but you're also like offering this big start in instability to someone. You're just putting it all on the table for someone, aren't you? Holy crap. Or you want to. This is what you're manifesting right now as a magician. So let's see, folks. Mm, page of Cups. Boom. Okay, so Page of Cups. You, you want to start this with... Um, Age? Well, yeah. So you're you're you want to present this, you know, this abundance, this loving stability kind of brand. You start uh, to somebody that's a page of cups. So somebody that's maybe younger than you, right? But they got some love in that shit. So uh, this is kind of the direction where we're at. So let's um let's keep going here and figure this out. Nine of Pentacles. Woo. 
Okay, so because this person might be a page, like they might be younger than you, they're definitely single, they got their shit together, they're abundant, they're stable, they're beautiful, they're gorgeous, they're magnificent. Did you get it? <laughs> okay, good. My head was getting dizzy. I'm just kidding. Right, so this is this is you presenting this to this person. Fantastic. We need more love in the world, so shout it out. Okay. Here comes the next card. Oh, the chariot. This is my divine Uber card, people. Look at that card. Boom. Chariot card. Success. Forward movement. This is victory. You are going to be in this Uber, right? So this uh, is going to be you two basically successfully, you know, taking off together, right? And it's divinely guided. This is who dropped the shit off for you all to get in to go together, right? Here comes the star card, all right? Somebody's shining bright, right? Somebody is um, healed. They have been um, ready for this, and you guys are taking off to start them somewhere, right? Looks like a, like a little power couple going on here, even though the page is young, like I said. Um, with the um, nine of pentacles, they're pretty stable, and you know they're single. Oh my lord. Hit the like button. Who the hell is this? Where are you guys going? Okay. Eight of Wands. Ugh. Well. At least you're not trapped in your mind. <laughs> okay? At least you're not trapped, but you're a little, like, leery. Because you think that the page is more of the King of Wands, right? This is the, this is the Eight of Wands symbology for now what you think or what you feel that this person is the king of wands so you think that they're like a player you think that they might be uh, just all about one thing right uh yeah okay so let's just keep going all right yeah why would you think that though this is kind of crazy okay six of wands Either way, you'll have success. This is successful whether you think they're uh, a little, you know, <laughs> hot pants or more, you know, more of this in the light, stable, shining, abundant, ready to, uh, you know, take on the world together kind of person. So let's just keep going even though we know it's successful. And it's perfectly clarified, people, because look at the Page of Cups, six of wands. There you go. That's your person. All right, so you'll have success with this person and you will now hold on to them like never before. But you feel somewhat Anyways, I lost my track. Sorry about that. This stupid do not disturb sign popped on right in the middle. So now we're going to have a little edit in the middle. Anyways, you're a little, like, discouraged and disappointed in this because, uh, are you missing, like, singlehood for a second? Do you miss being single? Is this why you're in a little despair? Despite knowing it's going to be successful, like, what's the deal? Let's keep going. Yeah, the concentration gets broken real quick when we, you know, have... Uh, phone calls and all this stuff. It's not like we lose the connection, but it's just that brief interruption and kind of lose track. See? All right. I'll take those two because these two will be your final card. Well, actually, I think there's three. Yeah. Okay. So three cards, one on the bottom is the top. So there's the King of Pentacles. Okay. So um, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. Because you thought there were all this Knight of Wands, Sashi. Uh, flirtatious kind of energy people person from this offer that you're giving to the page of cups <sighs> no what they are is really this abundant single person that now uh is this king of uh pentacles and so you really probably are in this despair because you thought uh you thought of them wrong <laughs> you misjudged them oh here's the other card there's high priestess. So uh, now that you have enlightened yourself to this person and their high vibing energy, 
because they were showing you Paige and they're the really the king. Oh, is that King of Pentacles? Yeah, the King of Pentacles. There's a little bit of glare from this light and sunlight. So, judge a book by its cover. Never. Here was the story. Here's the last card of your outcome, but I owe you one more. So there you go. Ten of Pentacles, my friends. I told you. This was going to be exactly what you didn't think. Because you underestimated this person only being a page, being young, mature, however. But you still were like, oh, okay, let's just see where this goes. Because you had a little bit of uncertainty about them being a little sassy and flirtatious, right? And so that puts you in a little bit of despair despite you knowing the victory that was there. Now they un <laughs> unwrap themselves as really the king of pentacles in disguise. <laughs> Bringing you to your high vibration because now y'all too got the Ten of Pentacles here. That's damn near the Ace of Pentacles, right? But you already got that. So now you guys are going to live in the stability. You're going to be able to live comfortably together with things in the world, right? Okay. Here you go. Here's the last card. There's the Empress. Boom. So it's a very loving and nurturing and stable and abundant and giving kind of relationship, my friends. That's right. You cannot get better than the Empress, even though the High Priest is out here too. What? Same thing almost. Yeah, so stay high vibing, right? Don't always judge a book by its cover because you will be fooled. And the devil fools really good. So uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Come back again. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Share to my channel. Tell all your friends. I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, go enjoy your dinner. And with that being said, peace and pray. Y'all have a good day.